Do you like fish? Do you like aquariums? You want to see some? I've got you covered. Today, I'm going to show you how to make three aquarium designs that would work inside or outside your base. Let's get on with it. And the first one is fairly simple. This one is a little bit like an aquarium snow globe, except, well, there's no snow in it. There's just fish. This one's proper simple to make. What I like about this one is it is the same on all four sides, but that gives you four different views, which means you could do this in the middle of your base or maybe even outside your base. And obviously you could change up the palette from this spruce and stone to anything you liked. I've played around with black stone and mud and different woods, including the nether woods, and they all look pretty good. Let me show you how to make it. Your starting footprint is a shape like this. Those straight lines are three blocks long. And on the diagonal, you are going to put some stripped oak on the straights put some stone and now we need to turn these straight stone lines into vertical circles and you're going to do that by placing a temporary block there and a stone there a temporary block there and a stone there and then coming up to put a temporary block there and a stone there temporary block there stone there coming across to and then keep doing that all the way around until you've got yourself a minecraft circle which i appreciate isn't exactly a circle but you do know what i mean and do that on all four sides. So it should look like that. Now we've got holes in all of the corners here. So place another strip wood there and pop one on top, remove that strip wood. Place another strip wood there, pop one on top, remove that strip wood on all four corners. And then we need to create this pattern on the top as well. So what you need to do is place a temporary block there, temporary block there and a temporary block there and then place your wood on top get rid of your three temporary blocks and do that in all four corners. Place a temporary block on any one of your straight edges and then bring one in like that. Remove your temporary block. We're going to create the same vertical stone circles, but we're going to do it flat on the top like this. So it should look like that. Then come inside and randomly place yourself some ground in here that I like to use some gravel, some sand and also some coarse dirt because that kind of gives the effect of the bottom of the sea or a river. And just to give some variation of depth, put a little raised bit in the middle and then place a sea lantern or some other light block right in the middle of that as well. And that will stop any drown from spawning inside your aquarium, which is not something you want, right? And then place glass in all four of your sides like this. So it will look like that. Then get two water buckets, place one there and one there, which will give you an infinite water source in the middle, which you can then pick up and place water in these corners exactly like that. That will give you an entire layer of water across the bottom. Then repeat all the way around like this and fill it up to the level below the stone circle at the top. It's important that you put the water in first, otherwise it becomes a lot harder to fill up. Plus, if you put any coral in it, it will just die. And then decorate it up however you would like. I'm gonna put in some different coral blocks and things like that. I like to do coral so it's on kind of a wonk like that and maybe put in some sea pickles just to give some extra light. You could even put in some seagrass. It's entirely up to you, do it your way. Alternatively, you could just lob some bone meal on it and hope for the best. Sometimes that works quite well. Got some tall seagrass there, that's quite nice. And then put in some fish, bring them in in a bucket or if you've got fish spawn eggs, then that's brilliant. But the bucket works as well, fill them up and pop them in as many fish as you want, any type of fish that you want. If you wanted to get really funky, I suppose you could put other stuff in here as well, like turtles or guardians, or maybe you want it to be a drowned aquarium. Just make sure you name tag anything like that, otherwise it'll disappear and that'll make you sad. And once everything's in there that you want, place glass all the way around the edge of this circle here. And in the middle, what I want you to do is place a sea lantern or again, another light source. That'll bring light in from the top, which is actually really quite important. Otherwise you're gonna find the top of the tank is gonna be just a little bit too dark to be able to see in. Sometimes the fish get in the way, give them a batter and they'll get out of the way for you. Now you can choose any wood you want to trim this off, but I quite like this being spruce personally. Place an upside down step there, upside down step there, upside down step there, come around the other side do exactly the same thing there, there, and there. You're gonna get a slab, you're gonna place a slab there. You're also gonna have a slab at the top because these stairs are gonna come across this area as well. There, there, and there. And the same on the other side, there, there, and there. Now we don't have vertical slabs in Minecraft, sadly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a trap door there and flap it up and a trap door there and flap it up, which is the closest we've got to a vertical slab. That gives you that circular shape. You're then gonna repeat that on the other three sides. Using some fence, I'm using spruce again. Place a fence post there, one there, one there, one there, and also one there. Then grab a lantern, place a lantern there, and a lantern underneath. And repeat that on all four corners. 
We're then going to grab a trapdoor and we're going to place a straight line of trapdoors across the top of our stone circles like this. One, two, three, four, five across each one. Exactly like that. And then we're going to come up the top and we're going to do the same on these as well. We're then going to place a trapdoor on these corners on both sides like that. And a trapdoor next to all of the lanterns as well going like that. We're then going to place trapdoors on either side of this block right behind the lantern. Now obviously you can fiddle around with this detailing as much as you would like. Do whatever you want inside, do whatever you want outside. I'd be really interested to see what it is you do. Maybe send me a picture either on Instagram, in my Discord or on Hive. All the links are in the description below. So let's go and do a different one. The next aquarium has a very different feel to it. And I'll be honest, this one is probably more suited outside than inside. Although depending on your base, I suppose you could put it inside. This has got a lot more width to it and a lot more depth with that Blackstone. Since mud came out, I get the feeling that Blackstone doesn't get as much love as it used to. But I think it works really well with that dark oak, especially where we've got the dark oak steps and all those dark oak trap doors running around it. Let me show you how to make this one. The actual aquarium touches the floor in this shape. We have got a 13 wide rectangle that is seven deep with two notches on the left hand side. First off, place two black stone bricks there and there and then get yourself some stairs and go upside down stairs there and there and then come around the outside stairs there, there, there and there. And then when you've got this long line, I want you to create all the way to the corner but not the corner with grass. Now, obviously I'm doing this so as I've got a grass template all the way around the outside. If you wanted to do that with stone, then change that up for stone and then get yourself some stripped dark oak wood, put it in that corner, put it in that corner as well. I'm then gonna get some sea lanterns. And again, it doesn't have to be sea lanterns, but I just think it looks good. You could use frog lights. This would look amazing with frog lights and come all the way around the outside like this and then down the middle and then around the outside like this. We're then going to come inside here and we're going to place a floor that is mostly sand because you've got such a dark outside. It being sand inside lightens the entire thing up and the rest of it you're just going to pop in some coarse dirt and also some gravel to make it look good. Put blackstone bricks up against the other side of those and then get some dark oak stairs across the middle. We're then going to create a diagonal of stairs, whether they're dark oak or blackstone, until you've put five stairs in place. So that's three. That is four and that is five. So it should look like that. Using blackstone bricks and dark oak planks, get yourself blocks all the way across the top so you've got an upward structure like that. And then place stairs so they're going backwards in a reverse diagonal to the direction you've already gone in. And you're gonna go five times again. So that is one, that is two, that is three, that is four, and that is five. Then continue that process across the top and go down again using more stairs until you complete a full circle. So it will look like that. Please note that we have only done two flights of these dark oak steps on this side because this is the internals of your aquarium. Remove this bottom row of oak stairs that are on the inside and place a row of glass like that. Bring glass all the way along the side here and on top of the sea lanterns or whatever other lighting source or block you've used, place a block of glass. And repeat that until it is four high. However, inside your circle, you are gonna pop off those stairs, those stairs and place a glass there so it fills up the circle on both ends. And at this end with the circle, take out this row of steps like that and that row of steps like that. Replace that with glass, that with glass, and that with glass, and extend this right to the edge. Make sure you put some more glass on there so the water isn't touching that glass. Take out that row of steps just there and replace that with glass also. Next, raise up the tower of stripped dark oak right to the level of the glass like that. Then place dark oak steps all the way around going from one column of stripped dark oak to the other, and then along the outside of the glass right to the side of the circle. When you get to the end with the dark oak stairs, face them and place your last step there. You should get that turn. We're gonna go across to the other set of dark oak steps because they also need to have the same turn. We should get a finish that looks a little bit like that. Then place dark oak planks all the way around on top of that glass and then place another row on the inside of those. Make sure you leave yourself a gap because you need to be able to get inside to fill it with water which is what we're doing now. Place a water bucket there and a water bucket there. You should get an infinite water source on the block in the middle. And then every other block, 
place another water bucket that will give you water all the way to the end until you've got an entire platform of water repeat this until you get to the top now you should find you've got a little airlock inside your circle. You can either fill that in, which I'm doing, or you can just leave it as air, it doesn't matter. Now decorate up the inside with coral, coral fans, sea pickles, whatever it is you fancy. Make sure you put plenty of fish in there though. And once you finish that decoration, close up the hole and then grab some planks and cut it from the corner one and two in all of the corners. One, two, one, two, and one two and then make yourself a little rectangle of planks just gives a little bit more of a gable onto the roof of your build and we are then going to run slabs all the way around the outside of that top roof so it looks like that grab some stone buttons and place stone buttons there 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 and there and there on both pillars we're then going to get this lovely chocolate bar effect dark oak trap door and we're going to place one there one there one there one there one there on each of those and also on the bottom. And we're gonna run it along the outside and then repeat the process at the other end. Until you've got an effect that looks like that. Come to the four corners and place four posts. I'm gonna place one there, one there, one here, and one across about there, I think. I'm gonna place a lantern on all of those. This is gonna bring a little bit of light to the outside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in grass all the way around it quite randomly so as it looks landscaped and then place some bone meal on it. And the way you do this is entirely up to you. You might want to mix in some rocks so you've got some rocky outcrops. Just stretch your imagination, go wild. And if once you've done that, you've not got all of the flowers that you wanted, maybe lob a few extra flowers in there. I quite like poppies and orchids for this. The red offsets against that really dark oak really well. And I think the blue is so different from all the other colors, it stands out really nicely. And I think that looks pretty good. As I've said, you can go to town on this one, change up the palette in whichever way you would like. It looks awesome in so many different ways. But we have got one more that I wanna do, and this one is a little bit bigger. The final aquarium is much bigger, a lot more formal, and is definitely designed for the indoors. It's split level, has got a lot more width, and is built up at the back to give real height inside the tank. With not only coral and seagrass, but we've also got some kelp and a load of rocky outcrops in there as well. And I couldn't do a build without bushes. So come with me and let me show you how to make it. Nice easy starting shape with this one. It is a 17 by 25 rectangle. And I'm going to start by placing mud bricks inside the outline all the way across. You don't have to do it with mud bricks, but I quite like the texture and the way we're going with this particular build with some white concrete and glass and then some mangrove wood. It actually looks quite modern and the mud bricks work with that. And then around those mud bricks, I'm placing a mud brick slab. So as we've got a gradual step up. I'm then coming up to the second inner rectangle. I'm going to count one, two, and on the third one, I'm going to place some mud bricks and I'm going to create a rectangle outline all the way around, making sure that I stay two blocks in from the edge, but I'm not going to fill it in. And that rectangle should measure 19 blocks by 11 blocks. And I'm then going to go around the outside of it with some more mud brick slabs, just again to give that gentle slope up to where we're going to be starting building the actual aquarium. Then from the inside, I'm going to place six blocks of glass, one, two, three, four, five, and six along the short side, starting from the front. I'm going to go all the way along this side, and then I'm going to go down the other short side again with six more glass. And the back half is going to get one, two, three, four, and five, and then all the way around the back with some white concrete. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. Doesn't have to be white concrete, doesn't have to be mud bricks, but I think this really works together. And we're now going to build up the landscape inside the aquarium and we're not going flat like the floors of the other one. We're going to build up a very gradual slope towards the back and one corner. However, we are going to start in exactly the same way and we're going to make a mostly sand floor that's going to be dotted with things like gravel and also coarse dirt. I also put some packed mud into this as well because it works really, really well. And when I get to this corner, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gradually build up. I'm gonna use sand because that's easy. Although if you wanna use cobblestone or something like that, you could also use that. I'm gonna come to almost the end, but not quite. And I'm gonna come along a couple of blocks. I'm gonna come across all the way across. I'm then gonna come across all the way across again and I'm going to stop a couple of blocks short so about there perhaps I'm going to come in a few blocks and I'm going to come along like that I'm going to come out a little bit further and then perhaps just a couple more blocks there like that and I'm going to build myself up a bit of a slope so I've built it up to look like this but we've not finished yet 
We're going to build up some interesting rocks in this one as well. Stone, andesite, cobble and stone brick with their slabs and their step variants. And I'm also going to put in some ochre frog lights because they'll merge into that sand really beautifully, but they'll give it a nice subtle lighting effect. So it is now starting to look like a bit of a rocky outcrop under the sea. I've also popped in just a few little soul sands there to give a bubbling effect towards the back of what will be the tank. From the front of the aquarium, I'm going to count up one block of glass and we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and then we're going to come up five blocks in total so that's two three four and five and we're going to do this for the entirety of this half of the aquarium so it looks like that and then we're going to do this half a total of eight high which is another seven on top of the row we've already got which means it will look like that you're then going to cover over the bottom layer with wooden slabs. I'm using mangrove because you've got a real contrast with that brick and it works really well as a palette. But you don't have to. You could use any wooden slab you like. In fact, if you wanted to use a stone slab, you could also do that. Make sure when you do it, you come out one from the glass like this. So you've got an overhang of one slab and cover this entire half with it. Once that roof is on, come to the taller part and on that block there, so you've got half of the glass block just showing above this slab, do a row of glass slabs all the way to the front here and then put two more on top. And then slab up the top of this as well, but make sure you leave yourself a hole to jump down into because we've got to fill it up with water and decorate it. And before you fill it up with water and any plants, etc., it's going to look like this. And it really makes me want Minecraft to bring in things like giant snakes and crocodiles because this totally looks like an awesome vivarium. Unfortunately, no snakes or crocodiles in Minecraft yet. So I'm just going to fill this one up with water. I think that wasn't probably too clever putting that there, was it? So it looks like that. Once you're inside, just check that any steps or slabs that you've put in have been waterlogged. I've missed one there, look, so let's pop that one in. And then we can start to plant it up. I normally start with coral, because if you start with the coral, you know that you're going to have a little bit of space to put the plants around the coral. Always take off the corner like that, so you've got a nice arch. Put a little bit more red up the front, perhaps not too big, otherwise it will block off the back and move into some blue. And do this however you would like to do it. Once you've got yourself some coral in, you can place yourself just a little bit of kelp. You can build it up to the height you want it if you want, or you can just let nature take its course and just build a little bit in like that. Make sure you don't put too much towards the front though, otherwise it will start to obscure the stuff at the back. Remember, kelp is very big and very green and it does get in the way. And then just to help light up some of the top, you can put in some sea pickles like this, just to make sure that we've light throughout the whole of the tank, not just at the bottom if we put that there maybe put a little bit at the bottom here as well just one a couple there as well you can see we start to create light across the entire surface and once you've done that just lob a little bit of bone meal in the front don't use too much it's really easy to overuse the bone meal you don't want to have everything green you want some gaps where you've got all of that dirt and the sand still as well but put a little bit of bone meal in and then you're going to get some tall sea grass as well as some short sea grass there like that that looks great and then you can fill it up with fish in here i've got salmon cod puffer fish and lots and lots of tropical fish and this is going to be an absolutely fantastic feature for any camp look at it it's gorgeous and you can add to the detail by adding more frog lights. The different colours work really well depending on how deep you go. And then add some bush all the way around the outside of it. Everything looks better if you add leaves, trust me. And I think this is an aquarium to be proud of. However, quick moment of caution. Fish have got a habit of despawning sometimes. So if you want to make absolutely certain they stay in your tank, give them a name tag. And of course you could add axolotls as well and anything else you wanted to put underwater. Maybe it's a drown tank, I don't know, whatever you like. So there you have three gorgeous aquariums that can be added to the inside or the outside of your base to give you a little bit of flex over your friends. Maybe you copied one of these exactly or perhaps you did your own design. I would love to see it either way. And I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now, bye.